Uh, so we're really happy to be here in Croatia. Uh, it gives us an excellent opportunity to train, uh, to hone our skills, to perfect our display before we start displaying for the public, uh, both here and at the other sites around Croatia over the sea. It gives us a lot of opportunity for some very good training. Okay, what, we didn't have a bright, clear sky for a couple of days. Is it the worst weather forecast for you in April or in, it doesn't matter? Uh, so for us, we have to train in all weathers. Uh, the weather in the UK isn't always bright and sunny. So it's excellent training for us to experience all weathers and uh, lots of different training locations. And uh, we would like to know about the King's Coronation. What about the future shows and plans? Uh, so after we finish our training in Croatia, we'll go back to the UK and we'll then fly as part of a large fly past for the King's Coronation and then we're straight out to Greece to continue our spring training uh, before returning to the UK ready to, to display all over the country and into other air displays in Europe throughout the 2023 season. And in the next spring, hope we'll see you in Zemunik once again or...? Uh, hopefully we'll be back next year. We don't plan our training locations until later in the year but the training we have in Croatia is excellent and uh, we would love to come back to Croatia in the future to continue our relationship uh, between our two countries. Thanks a lot. So I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Higgs and I'm the UK Defence Attaché for Croatia. H-I-G-G-S. What about this cooperation countries? So I'm delighted that the Red Arrows have come here for the second year running to train here in Zemunik Air Base. Uh, and also alongside the Krila Luya. I think it's, it's great that two of the finest uh, air display teams are here together. We saw them fly brilliantly this morning. Uh, and I also think uh, it's a really good example of the bilateral cooperation we have in defence and security uh, between Croatia and the United Kingdom, but also as NATO allies as well. So I'm, as I say, I'm delighted they've been able to train here. I'm very grateful for the support that Croatia has provided. Yes, I am. Oh, well, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ova priča već traje dugo vremena. Mi smo njih davno upoznali i na svim tim međunarodnim mitingama na kojima smo letili smo bili u dobroj komunikaciji s njima. Otvorila se mogućnost da prije nekoliko godina oni zapravo dođu ovdje i odrade taj svoj prvi dio koji je krenuo kao zapravo samo transfer prema Grčkoj, pa su onda stali ovdje na nekakav suport i logistiku. Međutim, to se onda razvilo u priču da su oni krenuli prvo dva, tri dana dolaziti ovdje, pa onda sad su došli na dva tjedna i razvila se jedna kompleksna priča u kojoj su uključeni ne samo oni i mi, nego cijeli sustav i u principu uključeni da bi ovo sve funkcioniralo. Ovo je jako veliki logistički poduhvat i jako mi je drago da ovo sve funkcionira bez nekakvih štucavica i ne ide. Ne, 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 ne ide to. Zajednički trening znači oni rade svoje, mi radimo svoje, to je u principu tako. Jako je teško iskoordinirati dva različita tipa da radi bilo što drugo osim nekakvog uobičajnog prileta. Što se može naučiti od velikog Britanaca, ipak je to povijest pilotiranja svijeta? Tako, oni lete, manje više što se tiče letenja, tu se nema što učiti, oni imaju svoj tip, mi imamo svoj tip. Ono što se od njih može naučiti, to je kako je jedan veliki sustav koji je posvećen isključivo tome kako radi. Mi ne možemo kopirati taj sustav na nas, mi smo manji sustav kao prvo i naše primarno nije letenje u timu, nego je obuka učenika. Tako da mi letimo u timu kao nekakav dodatni posao i onda samo djelomično možemo te neke njihove škole pohvatati i kopirati na nas. Definitivno je lijepo ih vidjeti kako to sve lijepo funkcionira, kako to sve ide i tako krademo malo ideje. Učimo i mi i postajemo bolji iz dana u dan, tako da i to je nama isto velika stvar. Eto, 